it's time to unbox a new gadget and the gadget is called the time yes folks this is the pebble time that came from the states it is the most successful kickstarter project ever that happened on kickstarter ever since the first generation pebble and we are going to unbox the third generation pebble smartwatch that comes with a color ink display my name is warren with kl gadget guy and we are going to unbox the pebble time Okay, there you go guys, this is the Kickstarter version of the Pebble Time and I've ordered the red color model which looks extremely gorgeous even on camera. Look at this, the entire watch is red except for the front face of course. And here's the Kickstarter badge that, I, that shows that I've backed for this project for 179 US dollars. Alright, so this is the packaging, it's pretty simple, um, just like previous model, it actually comes with a proprietary charging cable which you actually attach to the back just like this. It's a magnet one, all right, and let's put that aside and we have manuals right here and that's pretty much about the box itself. Hopefully the final retail packaging will also come with the same set of accessories or probably even more. All right, so let's take a look at the Pebble Time itself. So in terms of design, it's pretty modern looking and it's made of plastic. Of course, this is obviously not the steel model of the Pebble Time, which is much more expensive than the standard version one and on the left here we have a button and on the right we have three buttons right here and there's the included microphone which is new on the pebble time so let's do a quick comparison with the old pebble steel all right so the pebble steel is obviously much more premium with its uh, metal uh, aluminum material right here and however i personally like the pebble time a lot more because it feels much more modern as compared to the pebble steel right here which looks very very squarish right and let's turn on the device right now and hopefully we'll be greeted by that really nice um color e-paper display okay there's the pebble oh immediately it lights up there we go it starts up pretty fast and we're gonna load the pebble app on our phone right now okay existing pebble owners you gotta take note the pebble time uses a new app on your smartphone so do not use the old pebble app to pair up with your pebble time so i've downloaded the app right here from the app store on my iphone and let's tap on it to access the app all right the very same splash screen appears and the app is only for pebble time yep as mentioned early on you gotta have you gotta download the pebble time app for the pebble time so i said i have a pebble time that's good all right and i'm gonna log into my account all right after signing on to my pebble account and paired with the smartwatch it is currently updating to the latest firmware and we shall be right back all right, folks, we have done updating our Pebble Time to the latest firmware version, and now we are getting started on the app. So this time, it makes sense for Pebble to redesign a totally new app for the time because the old Pebble or Pebble Steel app only allow a maximum of eight slots, which means you can't really install a lot of apps or watch faces onto the watch, and you're just limited with either eight applications or eight watch faces. That's pretty much about it. So on the new app itself, we get a very clean interface, which is two tabs right here we have the watch faces tab and the apps timeline tab which is really interesting so let's take a look at the store and see how it is oh by the way i forgot to mention look at all these watch faces i didn't download all of them but these are all the the watch faces and the apps that i have downloaded on my previous pebble time smartwatch and it carries forward because i log in with my pebble account all right that is really great and we are going to take a look at the store itself let's go to get watch faces let's see how the store looks like whether has it improved and i hope that um, it has a new interface well it gets more colorful this time because um the pebble time obviously has a color display right now so you get color watch faces which is really great cool stuff so we'll be doing a couple of stuff checking out a few cool watch faces and then we will recommend you which is the best watch faces that you could get so at this moment i've got my nyan cat um, watch face activated look at it it's very colorful and nice all right next let's take a look at the watch software itself 
Alright, so Pebble has loaded up an all new operating system on the Pebble time, which the Pebble Steel and the original Pebble will receive an update at a later time. So let's take a first look at its operating system. So we're gonna press this uh, middle button which leads us to the menu. Let's press this. Look at that animation, it's great and there's music. Let's tap into music and start playback on your phone. I'm gonna press yes. Um, I'm gonna start some playback on my phone. Probably let's go into Apple Music, which I just um, upgraded yesterday. And I'm going to play Give It Up. That's a very nice song um, that was played in Kingsman Secret Service. And there you go. This is how the music interface looks like. And let's say we change music. There you go. Beautiful animations on the Pebble Time. All right, let's move on from music and we're going to get out. Move down, let's see what's up. Notifications, let's check them out. All right, so these are a few notifications that I received earlier on my iPhone. And let's choose Gmail. This is what happens. Look at it, animation is much more smoother and more fluid than the previous um, generation of Pebble. And this is what I could do with notifications. All right, let's pause the music for a while because there is actually a new feature on the Pebble time which you are able to reply. So I'm going to press on this one. Let's see whether I could reply or not. Um, obviously not these two notifications, but it's okay. We will actually try that in our full review. And let's move down to alarms. Wow, that's nice. We have alarms right here, but it's pretty much the same as the previous model as well. And we have um, watch faces. You can change watch faces here on the go. Um, look, all the watch faces that I have loaded onto my iPhone is all available here. So literally there's no limit in choosing your watch faces on the Pebble time. No eight slot limits anymore, remember that guys. And we have Misfit, the fitness app, and we have Tiny, Tiny Bird, that's a Flappy Bird game that I uh, loaded last time on my Pebble Steel. All right, look at this. It is actually loading from the phone this time, so which is very obvious that there has there is no memory on the Pebble Time because it requires to load from the phone via Bluetooth. And if you play this, this is what happens. All right, it has color right now. It's more interesting. Look at this. This is the tiny bird. It's actually Flappy Bird. Just a copy of it. One, two, and three. Well, I'm really good at it. I passed three. Oops. I'm dead. All right, let's just go back. And we have tablets. All right, so the rest of these are actually apps. And this is an entire new interface called the Timeline OS. And look at that animation, it's just so beautiful. All right, so this has been the first look at the Pebble Time hardware, software, as well as Timeline OS on the Pebble Time. We'll be doing a full review of it really soon and do some comparisons with the old Pebble Steel that I have right there, which is what I showed to you just now. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media where we'll be doing updates on the Pebble Time and some of our usage or tips and tricks on the watch itself. So once it gets released on retail, I believe you should actually get this watch because from first impressions, it has actually impressed me already. So that's it for now. My name is Warren with KL Gadget Guy and I'll see you again in our next video and in the full review of the Pebble Time.